guys, it's um, Tech Suicide here, and um, I'm going to be shooting you with another tutorial on Photoshop. And this one is going to, um, I'm going to pretty much have two pictures, combine them, make them look, you know, realistic, but at the same time fucked up. Um, in this case, it will be screwed up. Um, I'll be using tools like the History Tool Brush, the Pin Tool, um, maybe the patch tool if I feel like it, um, and that's pretty much it. So, um, we're just going to go to open, and we're going to find a picture of a baby. Here's one. Okay, now we're going to zoom in, like right there, then we're going to um, add a new layer, which is right down here. And we're going to, with this new layer selected, we're going to go to File, Place, and we're going to look for an eye. And I know I already have one because it was in my last tutorial, so I just, in the matter of finding it, here we go. Okay, setting the opacity to about 41%, we're going to minimize this, and we're going to fit this eye in this baby's mouth. And I'm gonna go. I'm going for a little baby um, gagging over an eye in his mouth. Okay. So once we have this, we're we're gonna have to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Um, it's looking a little choppy right now. That's just because the picture that we um, imported in the pixels weren't that good. So obviously, the more pixels, the cleaner and the better it's gonna look. I mean, that's just with everything though. So we're going to use our pin tool, which is right down here, and we're going to select um, um, the white parts of the eye, and of course the eye itself and the pupil and all that good stuff. So we're just going to take the pink skin out. And we're going to right click and say make selection. And then we're going to make the f um, feather radius of approximately 3 pixels. Click OK. Then we're going to go up here to select inverse. Or you can just do shift control I. And um, let's take our um, eraser tool. And we're going to have to click once to accept this as a smart object. And now once that you have selected it it's going to let you erase this away. Then you can just grab your rectangular marquee tool or any kind of tool pretty much and deselect. Right, right click and deselect. Now it's looking if we were to zoom out that actually right there would be okay. That It would be okay to use. But um, I'm going to be a little bit more precise and we're going to take our history tool brush and um, we're going to do this of a solid 19 here we go and we're just going to go around the lip Okay, so now as you can see, I made a little boo boo right here, and um, that's easily fixable. Just do Alt Control Z, and see how that just takes that away. Now you can just redo this. So now we zoom out that's what we get and it looks pretty legit um, I'm gonna add another layer and um, I just do I do this I'm gonna select a place I do this for pretty much all my stuff um, and this is just um, a little label with text suicide on it. 
and um, I'll make a tutorial on how to make a shiny butt like that and then we're gonna place this right here size it down so it doesn't take up the picture and then we're gonna select place then we're gonna go up here um, to layer and we're gonna do flat image and then you can go ahead and save it under anything you want but I'm not going to because of the fact that I already have one so this is your tutorial on how to take two opposite pictures and put it into one and um, how to throw a little twist into it too okay thank you bye